AFC filed away, or is it? Good morning everyone and welcome to a new video on the channel. It is Easter Monday the 1st of April 2024 and today we're heading over to Lancashire for AFC Fylde versus Gateshead in the National League. So here I'm in Westham, um, I'm uh, doing the uh, match preview in, inside the pub today because uh, it's just absolutely belting down outside and uh, got my uh, speakers fixed on my phone yesterday and I don't want them getting any, any more water damage but uh, going into this afternoon's game, AFC File are currently in 13th place in the National League table. Uh, the first half of the season they had a bit of a sticky time, I mean I know they beat us 4-0 at the International Stadium back in October and that was a really weird game that one. Um, we actually had enough chances to win two games that day but uh, they took their chances when they came and uh, we quite simply didn't but uh, other than that it was uh, a, pr a pretty tricky time for them, it was looking as though they are going to have an immediate return to the National League North but they've really turned it around since New Year and they're now looking good for at least a mid-table finish and I think they'll really like kick on next season and be up there and there's some uh, parallels to us really of course this is the last two National League North champions going head to head today um, and uh, speaking of Gateshead we are still in fourth place in the National League table following Friday's 1-0 win against Rochdale and uh, obviously coming down here this afternoon it is going to be a really tough game uh, at Fylde, it's no hidden secret uh, one of our bogey teams and I'd say uh, they're even more of a bogey team for us than what Halifax are, this is the fifth time I've been to, I've, uh, watched us at Mill Farm and uh, we've not even scored in any of the previous four, I mean I know we got a point in one of them and uh, ended up missing a penalty that night as well so uh, that kind of compounds it, the one night that we didn't get beat here and um, we missed a penalty and obviously we've lost all the others since um, so I mean at least with Halifax I have seen us score a couple of times at, at the Shea and uh, we do get the odd draw against them but I think we've lost eight games in a row now against Fylde, it's absolutely ridiculous and they're not even scored in any of the last seven of course, uh, that being uh, both here at Mill Farm and up at the International Stadium, the last time he scored against them was nothing more than a consolation in a 2-1 loss in the 2017-18 uh, season up at our place, um, but uh, there's a lot riding on this for us this afternoon, um, of course, uh, right in the thick of a playoff chase, uh, maybe even going for third place as well, um, I mean that's probably got to be the aim given it is only four points between ourselves and Bromley um, and we've obviously got to play 
Bromley as well, but uh, in these last uh, five or six games, whatever it is, um, there is going to be like plenty of twists and turns. Like every game for us is going to be tough in its own way. Obviously, coming here to a side that have uh, picked up a lot of momentum since the new year, and as I've touched upon, we don't have the best of records against anyway. They obviously, then all the short who were fighting for, for a playoff spot, uh, Maidenhead who had uh, fighting to stave off relegation. Uh, Chesterfield uh, obviously already won the league, but uh, will maybe want to gain a bit of momentum, momentum for next season. And obviously Bromley on the last day, which is uh, pretty self-explanatory, but uh, as, as we always say, one game at a time. And uh, right now we have just got to focus on this one. It is going to be tough, but uh, we've plenty of reasons to be confident as well. So. I'm going to have a drink now, then we'll head on down to Mill Farm and find out how it all unfolds. So they're doing a pitch inspection and the game might even be off. Um, travel all this way for now, basically. Um, afternoon on a drink, maybe. So I'm now in the uh, German bar in uh, Kirkham. Uh, the game has officially been called off. It's past three o'clock now. Um, I think a, a f one or two home troops need to in here, actually, because... Um, Obviously, the game was officially called off at five past two, I think it was. Um, obviously, there was a load of Gateshead fans in the pub. Um, it wasn't officially communicated on social media by Fylde. Uh, the only way we actually knew about it was because um, like, there was club officials of ours at the ground that had the, like, the, the decency to ring s someone in the pub up and uh, obviously get them to relay the news and uh, I think from there the writing was on the wall but uh, it's been absolutely tipping it down since what six o'clock this morning something like that um, it was pretty bad when I left Teesside this morning it's even worse over here so uh, I mean even if it had called it off at like I don't know 11 11 half 11 something like that I could have you know seen past it um, I mean, I think back to when Rochdale and the FA Trophy was called off in December I was at Leeds I think it was but then again I did set off for that game pretty early um, but at least it was still a, a reasonable amount of communication and um, this is uh, like it's just a total lack of common courtesy if I'm telling you the truth and uh, I think if if, 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 if we were the ones that had called off a home game that late in the day we would get hammered from pillar to post and uh, I'd look at what people are saying about us on social media and I think you know what I can't even argue with it because um, uh, at the end of the day we're in the National League there's a lot of travelling to do in this league but regardless of that it doesn't matter if we were playing Hartlepool or if we were playing Bromley um, if we called the game off that late in the day like their, their fans would be rightly fuming with it with us and uh, I'd obviously have no arguments for it I'd be apologising to them I'd, um, I'd bring it up with our club officials and our club officials know I'd bring it up with them as well so uh, it's massively massively frustrating I really do feel for anyone that can't like make the rescheduled game I mean I'm lucky that I've got you know an absolute top-notch group of friends that will help me out if need be but uh, yeah I'm just I just feel really like I'm you know, just annoyed with it I mean it's, I don't like get usually get annoyed with games being called off because I, I get it's part of football it's part of non-league football it happens um but to, you know, to travel all this way with no word whatsoever that a pitch inspection was even planned even though a quick check of the weather forecast probably told you everything you need to know there's there a couple of locals in the other pub that i was in telling us that you know the pitch wasn't that great so um I just feel like I just feel like massively hard done by that today. Sorry, truth. When the rearranged game will be, I don't know. Um, obviously, it, part of me is thinking it might be either tomorrow, or Wednesday, and then to get it out of the way. But at the same time, uh, will we just want to like have a full breather before that FA Trophy semi-final on Saturday? Um, or will it be like next Thursday, but then again, it'll be here on, on Thursday night, then down to Maidenhead on Saturday. So it's really a bit of a no-win situation. But uh, I, don't, I, just feel, I feel for our fans, I feel for everyone involved with our club, you know, the players that have prepared for the game. Like, obviously, the club have had to pay for transport to get down here. So people have been left out of pocket by this as well. So um, it's, it's, it's really not right 
what's happened in my honest opinion. I think, um, as I said, uh, I mean, I can, I can sit, like, I'm not angry about the game being called off as such. I'm just angry about how it was, uh, to be honest with you, poorly communicated. But uh, I'm just going to leave the video here um, before I like really start kicking off um, and I'll be back on Wednesday with Borough Rangers under 23s versus Cader FC unless uh, this of course AFC file against Gateshead gets rearranged for the same night or even tomorrow night but until whenever take care cheers for watching see you later